Residents of Ayetoro and Okobaba waterside communities are still reeling from the devastating aftermath of the September 15 demolition by the Lagos state government. On the said day, hundreds of residents of these communities were abruptly displaced. Some of them narrated their struggles to new centers, Igbalani, Omoni, as he captured the response of civil society group and the Lagos state government's relocation plans. His report. 23-year-old Zainab Balogo and a seven-month-old baby are one of the many families who are still relieving the horror of the displacement at Ayetoro and Okobaba waterside communities in Lagos State on September 15 this year. There's so many things inside. I couldn't my phone so it's, it's inside. I was on Sunday, but she was on Sunday. I was on Within five minutes, by at Debayo and many others were unprepared for the scene that greeted them in the early hours of that fateful September. Families were started awake by the jarring noise of massive bulldozers and excavators demolishing buildings in the waterside communities within the Abutemeta area of Yaba Local Government Development Authority in Lagos State. The way that the daddy pass Kinaba or which everything we Nigeria don't experience is very it's very bad experience. In the aftermath, non-governmental organizations like Sea Hope have been providing critical support to affected families, focusing on the rights and welfare of vulnerable children and families. It aims to establish a network of victims to resist future demolitions and advocate for due process. We have to go beyond the episodic response to this problem. We have to say how we coordinate. When it comes to a question of development, they are not talking about development from the point of view of meeting the needs of every one of us. What they mean by development is to establish a safe place for those who are rich to be able to enjoy their lives. Yes. And that is why, when you look at what is happening in Lagos State now, under one now, every force, everywhere will be filled up with water. But how do you explain a co Atlantic city? It is the same way that electricity exists if you are a ban A person. As sufferers of these the iniquities of these our leaders, we need to have an understanding that we do not just need to fight and resist, but we also need to begin to discuss among ourselves what kind of development, what kind of society, what kind of future do we need. You can give these people adequate notice to get their lives together, move to better location. You can re relocate them. You can compensate them. Because being poor does not necessarily be uh, being below uh, subhuman. The Lagos state government has issued a final three-month relocation order affecting not only homeowners but also timber merchants. It's not about demolition, you know. It's about the welfare of an average citizen of Nigeria. As the affected communities navigate this difficult period and seek intervention, they say it remains essential to prioritize their well-being and ensure that their rights are respected. In Lagos 4 News Central, I am Igbalani Omoni.